Hello, hello guys and uh, welcome back to some more FM 2022 here in the Bolivian second best league with Wilsterman. And we got a couple of games to look at before we are getting into a game against, uh, what are they called? Uh, Universitario, that's the name, that's the name. But this time, this time I was playing against E.M. Haunawawawani. <laughs> the name that I can't say. It's a victory, a 3-1, right? And uh, yeah, I, I move these uh, things around because I thought this might be better. Because often I want to look at this right here, the away analy analyze or home analyze, because that is where I guess to get the best information on the players. So uh, yeah, we got the match stats down here and we can see that they didn't really have anything except from one thing and that's a penalty. And that is where they get all their XG basically. So there we go, one penalty for them and uh, the rest went our way. Uh, they did get uh, get us in front by an, by an own goal. A bit, I, th I think it was from a corner. So yeah, lovely, uh, lovely by them them doing that. And another corner here for Sotomayo, uh, bringing us in front, and then Hurana getting uh, the third goal in the overtime, which is uh, brilliant by him. So uh, yeah, and and play of the match uh, by far Sotomayo. Um, I believe he had. If we actually go in here to the uh, defending. I mean, he had the goal, but he also had three key headers and also eight interceptions. Brilliant game by this guy. Absolutely. Good game. Next up is at home against Rosario Central. And we did manage to win it 3-2. But man, oh man, are we leaky with the goals. It's, uh, yeah, it wasn't great. And I did need to play Vaca out of position here. He was actually playing on the right-hand side as an inverted wingback. He did all right, I would say. But I would also say that probably one of these goals are... I know that one of these goals came from, you know, not him not being, you know, right-footed and tackled correctly. And it is it is what it is, right? It is what it is. We have a lot of issues with our uh, wingbacks, not in terms of their performance, but in terms of them being injured, uh, not having the fitness to keep playing. And we even... I mean, we got three or four of them for each spot, and it's still not enough. It's like, what the... Uh, but yeah, um, and also a pretty poor sub by me, uh, bringing in a Raus. <sighs> Man, he, I, honestly, and this is not even—I'm not even lying here. It, it's it's actually this bad. He he came in, he came in one minute later. A goal went over his head, where he didn't get his header on, and bang, that was a goal. Vargas. No, he didn't actually. When did he come in? Uh, I might be mistaken here. He come in the civic. Yeah, so it was the first goal. It was like just a. But it was the next highlight. That's why I'm saying it like that. But it was the next highlight. The first time I see him in the game and in this uh, season, he makes a mistake. Right? <laughs> and he made one more mistake after that. So, not a good game by him at all coming in. Um. Terrible, absolutely. But we did win it. Martinez with the goal. Uh, Salazar too. And then Bello finishing it off. Um, and then we got these two late goals, which is horrible, 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 horrible. Um, man of the match, or play of the match, Salazar, 8.4. I mean, overall, we're doing fine. I mean, the statistics are showing us that we're definitely the better team. Good XG, all that. Um, I mean, we do have a couple of small chances and we are not scoring on our big one here, but... They get one good chance and that's it. And then they're scoring on a very small chance. It's, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to it's hard to do anything about it, I think. I mean, yeah, I did some really poor shopping. But uh, hard to know. Hard to know that they would do that bad. Uh, especially Arauz and also Vaca. I mean, yeah, I probably knew that playing him as an inverted wingback. And here's the, here's the problem. The game we're going to play today, he's going to do the same. With two of our first choice right backs that is out with injuries uh, in between the um, the games here, I decided to go out and bring in a new player to uh, fill the spots, and uh, that was also on the day of the transfer uh, when when it was closing. So uh, this guy is not cheap in wages. He got 350 in wages, uh, but he's also the first choice by far. I mean, he's 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 pretty damn good. He's a pretty good fullback. To be honest, he's one of the best in the club, as you can also see our, um, our assistant manager think he is. I, I, and I do too. He's, uh, plays one, he plays one two, knocks the ball past the opponent. He's pretty good. He's pretty damn good. So yeah, I just wanted to show him before uh, before we're getting into the um, the next uh, the next match or seeing the next match. Because I do think he played the next one, so uh, let's check it out. 
San Jose is Ururo. I, I, I know, I know. My pronunciation of Spanish uh, things are not the best. I don't speak Spanish. I've never... I, I, yeah, it, it is what it is, right? So these guys, I, I, actually, I don't think they were here last season or the season before that. They might have been um, promoted from the non-leagues or something like that. They don't have a patch either, so... I think they came up from the non-leagues, but uh, anyway, we, we beat them. 3-0. I mean, they did give us... Uh, they had one big chance, if I'm not mistaken here. Um, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the thing. I'm not, And I, again, I'm, this time, I'm definitely not lying. I have seen a Raus play 30 minutes of play, right? He played like 15 minutes in the last one. And now another 15 minutes in this one. I've seen him play 30 minutes in this season, and I've already seen him make three big mistakes where one of them was leading to a goal. Um, so, <laughs> it's also his third penalty. This is his third penalty in this season from 30 minutes of play. Third penalty in 30 minutes of play. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all of them sliding tackles. He is out. I substituted him in. I substituted him off right away. And he is in the yonder 20s now. <laughs> I, I'm not having it. I'm just not having it. Thankfully, Enrique saved it. So, he saved us. Enrique, well done. As you can see, he also got the play of the match here. And uh, goals from Sini, Pandila and Martinez to win us the game. But yeah, definitely play of the match. Enrique winning us uh, the clean sheet. And I wouldn't say he won us the game, but uh, he definitely made us made sure that we were not conceding here with, with the mistakes from Arauz. Because that was another silly mistake. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's probably not gonna... You're probably not gonna see him anymore. National Sinak, they were sixth in the league and we are at home. They had one shot. <laughs> Not even on target, and um, yeah, they also, uh, yeah, as you can see over here, that's <laughs> nothing, basically. They also had this red card in the 42th minute, so it's, yeah, that's, that's, it was all over the there. At this stage, I think it was all over for them. Um, I think the only complaint I got here is not scoring three or four goals, to be honest. Um, we probably should have done that with, you know, on the on targets and also the shots in total. Uh, but yeah, we could, it was pretty hard to get through them when they were playing that low after that red card. But still, should probably have scored a couple more. Anyway, Martinez with a goal and Pena with a goal and the assist. 9.0 for him. He's picking up the player of the match. Quibraccio. Don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it. We are away from home and uh, surprisingly, they are number four in the group. So yeah, not an easy match, but... Something we should have won. I mean, they don't have a chance. But and Here's the thing. This pitch that we were playing on was really narrow. And these guys were playing really narrow. And they were just sitting back. They were parking the bus like you have never seen a you know, a team park the bus in this game before. That was, it was, it was just relentless. It was just, okay, well, okay, I guess... <laughs> We got, got a lot of yellows because we were winning the ball back quite often when we lost it right away. As you can see, they never got... I don't think they were one time above our... I don't think they were above the half line at any stage in this game. Honestly, I don't think they were. Um, they might have been when I didn't see it, uh, you know, in, um, outside the highlights. But still, it, it, it doesn't, it, it, I, I don't think they got anything away here. Uh, but you can see 20 shots, 6 on target, XG of 3.64. Yeah? It's a nil-nil. <laughs> There's always going to be one of these games in FM. I, it, it, every single season, it's going to be one of these. And it's not like we don't have big chances. We do have a couple of big chances in there. We just didn't score on our chances. So, uh, pretty disappointing. And it's not like we're shooting from range. We have one... No, two shots from range. The rest is inside the box area. So... I mean, what can I do here? <laughs> really? I mean, we're doing quite well in terms of looking at the statistics. We just couldn't score. And then you could say that maybe you should have played someone that could score a goal. I mean, Hurana scored, what, 20 goals last season? Uh, shouldn't that be enough? I mean... Uh? <laughs> no, apparently not. Fabio got the uh, play of the match here. Hmm. Well, don't know why. Maybe it's because of his uh, defensive duties here. Interceptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interceptions 8. And yeah, that's uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, that's the last game we have played, so uh, not the greatest result. But honestly, yeah, it's uh, I can understand why it happened, and it's not going to be the end of the world, I don't think. 
And that is leaving the table looking like, or the group looking like this. We are uh, a point with Universitario on 19, with uh, a good amount of points down to number three here, uh, EM. So uh, I, I, this is kind of what I was expecting to see after uh, seven games, to be honest. Pretty much bought on. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's okay. I mean, we, we did this draw, of course, is making sure that we are a point with them, but. I mean, again, what can you do? What can you do, right? It's, <laughs> it is what it is, that draw. So, uh, but we do have a massive game today against Universitario. We are at home, so if we don't win this one, well, that's going to be second place for us then. <laughs> because they are not going to drop points. Neither are we. We are not going to drop a whole lot of points during the season or doing the other against the other teams. So it's all about... You know, the games against us, uh, or uh, against Universitario here. Th this is going to be the decider against number one and number two spot. Which doesn't really matter too much, right? It doesn't really matter too much. But it's still fun to be number one in the group. <sighs> yeah, let's just get into it. I, I don't really have anything else to say here. Um, so, uh, team selection. I've already done it. It's right on. And we are definitely struggling with our wingbacks. They are all out. Uh, Canadier, um, the new guy, the new guy that I just brought in here, he is on the bench, but he's 77%, uh, what is it called, uh, condition, right? Aranibar, I was still coming back from an injury, 83%, 63% sharpness. And then we also have uh, Val down here, 79%. They are not really ready. He's also having a small knock and, and, and it's just not ready. So <laughs> we're definitely um, struggling. And Fernandez even, 84% on the other side. So Cruz has to play this one, basically. Uh, he's uh, at least, he's very fit. And so is Vaca. He's also very fit for this one. But still, he needs to be playing in an inverted wingback role. Right. Uh, one small change that I have made. And I made it for this game. And probably going forward. Um, I'm going to focus down the right-hand side. More often than not, we also do play on the right-hand side. Mostly in the heat map and all that. You know, it, 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 we are definitely focusing more on the right-hand side. Our right-hand side is stronger than the left-hand side. And it also makes sense in, when we only have the wingback over here, right? Actually, why is he not on complete wingback? Odd. Save that. Because it's still the same 1.4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I made this change today. So that, there we go. Or, you know, inside the game. Um, because he, he, the, he's not going to see a lot, this, this side is not going to see a whole lot of play and I don't even want it to. So I'm going to make that change right now and not focus down the left hand side, but he will still get the ball. Absolutely. He will have so much space over here. He will get in there, get the good crosses into Pena, but we want to focus it over here with Rojas, Belo, Sini, uh, and, th and in this case, Vaca and also Claros, who is all very good on the ball. They are all pretty damn decent on the ball. We want to focus down that flank and then switch it over to the other side when there is a lot of room or into the mid where there will also be room for Rosas, Salazar and Pena. So that's how we are, you know, winning the games basically, right? That's how we're going to do it. But uh, for this game, it's going to be Enrique in goal, of course. Vaca on that inverted wingback role for this one. Claros down in the central uh, def defense spot on the right-hand side. I, I don't think it's good to play with a halfback in here uh, or, or with him. I think he's better in... But I think he's both better down in the central defense. And I also think it's better to play the deep line playmaker role. Because we are the better team. No, we, we will control the game, right? We will control it. So Tomaya on the other side here in the central defense, he's probably been the best of the two um, when we compare him and Fabio. They've bo they both been better than I thought they would, seeing it, seeing them in the preseason. They didn't do too good in the preseason, they've done really well in the uh, group stages here, so that's good. Rojas on the deep line playmaker, Cruz on the complete wingback, Salazar, Bello in the central midfield, Sini, winger, Rosas the attacking midfielder, and Penner up top. Uh, not the best team, but absolutely not the worst team either. So I am fairly happy with that. It should be a good match for us, seeing that we are at home. But uh, you never know. Maybe an early red card or an early penalty can destroy the hopes here for us of getting that first place over Ros um, Rosetario. What? No, 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 that's not their name. What are they called? Universitario. Rosetario. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it, boys. Uh, sometimes I just can't find the right words. <laughs> uh, at opposition attraction, Diego Rivero always marked tight. I think we already have that on him, but I'm just, just checking. Yeah, we do. The resting room, and we are getting into this match kickoff. Right, are we playing on... We need to check that out when we get into the match, actually. 
Yes, we are on key highlights. Good. Alrighty. One minute in, and it seems like they might have a chance here. Going over the top. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Yeah, that's going to be a goal. Wow. Wow. I thought that would be a goal. Nine out of ten times, that would have been a goal for them. And you could easily see where our weakness was that right there. Sotomaya not having the acceleration to keep up with this man. Yeah, that's probably going to hurt us in this game. I have a feeling about it now. Are they going to get another chance here straight from the get-go? Wow. So we are maybe not in control at all here. Oof. What is, uh, let me just check this. Yeah, we don't have anything. Hmm. It, I'm concerned now. I'm very, very concerned, actually. This should not happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going on out there. I mean, I know what is going on. It's it's them um, kind of countering us. Finding our weak spots. Definitely our weak spots already. Um, question on, the question is, can we play into our strengths and into their weaknesses? Because their weaknesses is not in the wide areas, that's for sure. Oh, it's a good chance. It's actually a good chance Fernandez getting in there. Not bad. Uh, sorry, not Fernandez. I think it was uh, Pena getting in there. All right, a good chance here maybe for Sini. I don't know why he's taking it. It's not. It's not. It's not great. It's not great. <sighs> but at least we are uh, getting the ball now, which is how we like to play. We do not want them to have the possession ever, like ever. <laughs> Cruz finding some space. Didn't get it into the man. And now they're trying to go over the top. And so Tomayo, not quick enough to get out there. And that is leaving them with a possible good chance. Hoo -hoo -hoo. And again, we see our weakness. So Tomayo should have, if he was a quick player, he would have gotten out there and got that ball before the uh, central defender. Or uh, before that winger got it. So I'm, I'm thinking right now that um, it might be a good idea to actually get Sotomayor off. But he's been playing well, but we have seen. That, that's not the case. The, the game recognizes the ratings here, but it, I, I don't recognize that. I recognize that every time the ball is playing over his top or around him, he's just not quick enough for this game. Um, and they have, they're have they definitely trying to, to, to uh, take the advantage of that. How quick is he actually? He's six acceleration. That's a, see, that, that six acceleration, that's his biggest mistake, right? I mean, if he had eight or nine, it wouldn't be a, as a big, uh, as much of a problem because then he would probably force them outside. But he just can't go that fast. Um, and I'm wondering if it would be the ideal situation here to actually stop him off for... Uh, who do we have out here? Uh, we have Jemis. He's also not very quick. But he do have the 12th pace, which means he can come back and actually do something. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. F no, I don't. I don't I, uh, this could be a big mistake. This could be a big mistake by me not taking him off. But uh, seeing that uh, Gem has also only have seven acceleration, I think we're gonna let him play. Well, let's see if we're gonna. Oh, well, there. He's not gonna get beaten in that situation. That's for sure. He's he's a big boy. Now we can maybe counter them here. Yeah, it looks like it. Penner is in. Is his left foot and he's in. Well done, Penner. Love the counter attack against him. Wow, I didn't expect that to go in, but it is on his uh, left foot. So, yeah, well done, mate. And also, uh, was us here with the assist over the top for Penner? Well done, everyone. That's a really good. That's a really good strike, isn't it? Really hard to take that one for the goalkeeper. All right. That was kind of unexpected. But okay, it's, it's going to be one of those games where... Okay. Interesting. I think we are countering them again here. And we are kind of playing... I mean, we can definitely counter them. We have all the transition counters in. And we also have pass into space and all that. And we are, I am seeing more goals this season from counters like this. Oh, here we go. This is a good opportunity. Crossing it back to Salazar. Okay, okay, we... What? <laughs> what? What was that? That's the most crazy long shot I've seen in a long time. It was flat. And it just went past, like, how many? Three, four, maybe five units of players that could have all, you know, blocked it? it I think it went through the... 
I think he went through the, uh, what, what is it called, uh, the legs of someone. 2-0. What a fantastic strike that was by Rojas. I mean, it's it was odd because it, it looked like it went through the legs of one of our guys, or maybe one of their guys. But that was, that, I mean, that's making sure that they are really going to go for it. And, and, and if we can keep countering them, and they are trying to... Oh, here we go again. Here we go again, Sini. Okay, he's going to go back this time, but... Whatever. Oh, we, oh, no, we are going over the top here. Penna might get to it. Nah, okay. Now they're gonna go. Nope, they're not going over the top. I thought they would. They might still do. Yeah, he's gonna go over the top. Wow, that's an interesting pass right there. So Jumaya did win it. Good. Rogers is there to pick it up. And we're building up again. There we go. And now to the complete wing back here. Yes. And he's gonna take his man on. Of course, every single time he's gonna do that. Salazar, Rogers. Cruz, cross it again. Sini, it's a lovely goal. I mean, we shouldn't beat them on the header here, but it, it, still, it's it's lo it's a lovely goal. Um, and it's exactly what we're looking for, um, except from that it's not a low cross. But very often, this guy's not going to do a low cross because often he's going to do the crosses from pretty far out. Uh, He's, he's quite accurate with his uh, his crosses. So we are winning like 50% of them in there. That means we get a lot of on-target uh, headers on. And in this case, it's a goal. So that's good. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, in terms of our XG, we shouldn't have three goals. But I think we got a little bit lucky here, actually. I, I, I would say we are probably a little bit lucky being 3-0 up. They did actually have uh, at least one pretty decent chance here. Yeah, I think we are lucky here. We shouldn't really be in front with 3-0, but I'll take it. I'll take it, definitely. Against these guys, I'll definitely take it. Uh, if we could do that on the away, uh, when we are going away from home as well, that would be... That would be... I mean, if we could, again, get the first spot in the group, that would be lovely. It doesn't mean anything in terms of money or prestige or anything. That, that doesn't really mean anything except from our own little uh, <laughs> battle. <laughs> Inside battle, right? That's, that is, that's the only thing that really matters here about that alrighty second half 51 minutes in they do have a couple of subs here oh wow a 4 nil here Belo getting the goal oh it's offside no go did he come from an upside what is what is going on here oh yeah he did oh maybe Sini yeah Sini okay Sini came from an upside right fair enough yeah, I, I, I don't know if that... Should that be... In, in real, in real, would that be offside? Because he wasn't really obscuring the uh, goalkeeper's uh, view. So, I, I think in real, that would have been a goal, actually. Um, thinking about it. But okay, fair enough. They, they decided to make that an offside goal. Uh, just because Cini was in there. Uh, if, I, I mean, he was nowhere near the ball. So, I, I don't know. I, I, th I think that should have been a goal, actually. Um, but whatever. Mm, who are we going to sub off here? I, I don't really need to do that. Oh, that's what I, I actually wanted to get in here because they had those two guys coming in. Right, yeah, there we go. I didn't want to sub myself. Getting confused. Vaka, he's been actually quite good down here uh, on the... Uh, ah, well, good and good, but 6.9. He hasn't done any mistakes or anything, so that's at least something. Sini? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Getting a corner there. Getting a shot on target, I think it was. Not too bad. That wasn't a... Okay, no, never mind. Not a highlight. <laughs> it would be a highlight if I was playing on extended highlights. That's pretty guaranteed. Uh, okay, I think they might have a chance here. Going over the top. You, you can see this. You can see them. You can see both of these guys. They're definitely... They're trying to beat us against uh, Sotomaya here. Because if they get it behind us here, these two guys are gone. I mean, they, they're, they're going to beat us to that. But I'm not sure if they're going to do that. But that's what they should do. Just go over the top. Keep going over the top against Sotomaya. Because he can't... He, ca he can't outrun them. Th these two guys are going to get in if uh, if they do that. And that's my biggest worry playing Sotomaya. There we go. Now they did it. Well, this time it was way too long, and Henrique, the, the sweeper keeper, is gonna pick it up. But yeah, that's that's the danger, right? For us, that's the danger, mostly for us, uh, in behind Sotomaya. And also, of course, having a complete wing back playing really far up. Uh, it is definitely my biggest, uh, you know, weak spot. That left hand side on the central defense where we have a complete wing back playing really far up. 
and having a slow central defender on that spot is not great. It's not great. But more so than ever, we are outscoring the opponents uh, just because of how we are playing uh, forward and also winning the ball back really often. Uh, so and, and also, if they do not have any good uh, crosses with the ball or passes on the ball in the central defense, or the wing back for that matter, then more so than ever, the ball is not going to be good enough for them to actually uh, get to it or we are winning a header against them. So it's it's not often they actually get behind us with a through ball. But it could also, you see, it, it, it's probably, again here, this guy is already moving into position against Sotomayor. He's running in, 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 in between our central defenders. And if this ball is long enough, he's going to get in. But it went for Vara here, winning the header. But you can definitely see where the danger area is. And of course it is when you're playing this high lines. Again here. This time he did get in. This time he did get in and he's gone. But Henrique came out and made the made the goal really small. Well that's a pretty that's a pretty uh, big uh, opportunity for them. And that's exactly where our, you know, weak spot is. Our I would I would even call it our only weak spot. We don't really have a lot of weak spots except from that, but it's a, it's a pretty big weak spot and I can't really do anything about it right now. Uh, again, I, I, I probably made the mistake and go out and find really, really big boys instead of someone who was... Woo! Hello, Rojas on the <laughs> on the far post, saving that one <laughs> with his header. Uh, we should probably make some subs here. Um, But yeah, I should have gone out and actually gotten some more quick players on this spot and have some big boy on the right-hand side instead. But I went the other way, <laughs> stupid enough. Uh, also, it was pretty hard to find anything really good on the left-hand side with a left foot. I don't know. I don't know who to take out here. I mean, we're three nil up, and I'm, I don't think they are, we are going to concede three goals. So we could concede one. I, I can see that happening. But um, I think I'm just going to save a bit on Salazar here and bringing Malgor in. Uh, Gemis, maybe. And that's the fun part. He's 7.9 in rating, probably because he got a lot of interceptions. <laughs> so, he, I mean, yeah, it's a weak spot. It's a weak spot, but only when it actually happens, right? It, it, other than that, he's really good. He's really intercepting a lot of uh, things, uh, tr them trying to put it over the top, and he's winning those headers. That, so the ratings are showing us, oh, he's really good. And if you don't know, if you don't think about it, you wouldn't really understand it, right? But I know it's a weak spot. I know, yeah, he's he's playing well in terms of what he can do. So <laughs> that that is something you need to understand. But that's definitely why they could get a goal from uh, go, get a goal. Um, Patila, I think we're gonna put him on instead of Bello as well. I want to save Bello uh, a bit of condition as well. Cruz, yeah. I think Sotomayor is just going to play this one because we do have Fabio who can come in next game anyway, so it should be fine. But I'm more worried about my central midfield because we do have an injury on one of the central midfielders. So we need to save a bit of condition on them. We have uh, more options next game. Uh, also, fresh legs in the midfield could be good here. Keeping the ball. Cruz for Fernandes. Yeah, I agree. Do that. That was our last sub, and uh, oh, here we go. This could be a danger area. Nah, Sotomayor is in there taking the interception. He's probably player of the match. Actually, <laughs> that's, that's interesting enough, right? The only time we have had any problem is when Sotomayor is around, but he's also been so good in the air, so good intercepting things. So, um... ooh, that was close. That was close, but yeah, it's um, it, it's it's fun when you you can say that your best player is probably also the weak spot, right? <laughs> Just because of who he is. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Oh, here we go again. Is he gonna win this header? No, and that is where he is uh, gonna have trouble here. But at least he forced him outside, which is great. This is exactly what he should do if he cannot beat the man to the you know to the header. Okay, I feel like there is a chance coming in here. Or not. Uh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, they are getting in behind us now. That's a good one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, fair enough. And it is exactly where you think it would be in between our central defenders. So Tamaya pushing up a little bit and uh, then they get the run in behind our central defenders in, in that half space. 
Yeah, it's, it, there are even two guys in there. Not too well by Padilla or Rojas here, but Rojas was actually looking at this man. He don't even know he's behind him, uh, but he should. He, sh he shouldn't go for him. He should just let Sotomayor go in there and actually, um, uh, you know, make... Uh, Rojas should be a little bit more wary of... Uh, but that, that's, that's the thing, we, we didn't play an angle, man. We played a deep line playmaker in this spot. And you can definitely see that the deep line playmaker, yeah, he's not that defensive minded, especially not a guy like Rochas, who is very, he, he's not very defensive minded. And there we go, you can see it right here. It, it, I would say it's more the mistake of Rochas than it is the mistake, uh, mistake of Sotomaya here. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's another danger, um, playing with a deep line playmaker instead of the anger man. Uh, in a game where we have some pretty good players up against, up against some pretty good players. But again, we outscored them. Um, so, yeah. But it's something to think about against the away game. When we get into the away game, we might want to play that anger man because it, we might need it. We might need it, but you never know if... Okay. What is this highlight? This could be another highlight for them. I feel like they might have a counter here. Or not. They played out of it. Okay. There we go. That's a good ball up to Rosas. And he's going to get a, f a fourth goal here. Or second goal for him in the season. But fourth goal in the in this game. Wow. I did I did not expect to win 4-1 here. But definitely working playing down this uh, right-hand side. It's going to be interesting to see the key pass map here. But I think, I th I think we are, you know... I, I, I think I know how it's going to look. But still, the complete wingback is still going to be enough on the ball to to get those crosses in, right? He, he actually got an assist in this game as well, uh, the, the, the complete wingback. So I'm not too worried about playing down the right-hand side. It, it definitely worked. In, the, in, in this game, it definitely worked. Um, and I think it's going to work going forward as well. So there we go. Let's check a look at the... Uh, can we see it here, actually? Uh, not really. We can't see the pass map. We can definitely see that the heat map is showing that we do get the ball a lot over here. But as you can see... The complete wingback over here. Do get the ball in there and then cross it. Right? He's getting the ball from time to time. We're not playing a whole lot of around in the mid. That is just transition. The midfield is just a transition period. Where we're getting it from uh, from right to left. That's that's about it. We're more so going back to the central defenders. Uh, than we're going into the midfield. Which is interesting. But it's also leaving spaces for these central midfielders. And the pressing forward. And all those guys in their attacking midfielder. To move into the box, right, and get those crosses from uh, from the sides. So that's kind of how we're playing. But I want to get out of this game and take a look at the uh, pass map because I think it's an interesting one. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually very interesting to see this one. I, I it, it's very different from what I thought it would be. But um, what I read from this is that Salazar is probably a little bit too far up. I, can't, I, could, I could tell him to be further down, but I mean, he is on a central midfield support role. And I don't know why he decided to go that far up, maybe to link up really well with the pressing forward and uh, the complete wing back. Likely so. But it is leaving a lot of space um, where the passes are going to go. Instead of going... You know, I've, I'm telling all, pretty much all of them to play pretty uh, short passes. But they can't really do that in this system, especially not the central uh, defenders here. They are passing it far. They are, they are pretty far, actually. Look at this one. Like, and that is a lot of. Uh, that's probably like 20 or 25 passes out to Cruz, who is who was actually on the ball quite a bit here. 128 passes, so he was on the ball a lot. 66 for Pena, so he didn't really link up to. Yeah, okay, Salazar, 120. So these two guys are finding each other really well. So he, he, it's not it's not actually Salazar being really far up. It's more like Pena coming really deep to try and uh, connect with the other two. Um, of course, Rocha's in there as the deep line playmaker, connecting it all up, as we know, as we know. Funny to see that Rosas and Belor is kind of in the same spot here. Um, I would I would have thought that, uh, that Rosas was a little bit further over here. Um, but again, he I don't know why he did that. I don't know. He shouldn't really be there. That should be the central midfielder uh, on a tax roll to be in that spot. But okay, whatever. But otherwise, I, I kind of like what I'm seeing here. Of course, a lot of uh, going back and forth between the uh, fullback. Uh, actually, an inverted wingback in this case, Vaca and Sini, which I kind of thought would happen. But you can see who is the main guy in there. It's Rojas. He's making it all take, getting the ball around to all the players, all, the, all of them. He's just getting it around really good. So, um... I just wanted to show you guys against the really good team how our pass map looks and it's not it's not 
the best plasma I've ever seen in the world, right? Is there is uh, something to be said about some of the positionings here, but it definitely is working how we want it to work uh, in the overall picture. So yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent. We got a game coming up here. It is against Garcia Agreda. I believe they are six in the league. Actually, we can see it when we get into the game, but I don't think they are that. Actually, no, I think they're further down, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I've set it up exactly how it should be already. Put on who needed to come on and who needed to go off. So in this game, it's going to be, uh, of course, in league and goal. Kandier is going to come in again. He is uh, back on 92 conditions, so he's going to play that one on the fullback area. Jemis and Fabio is going to be the two in the central defense. Rojas is going to play again. I don't like it. He's on 89, but yeah. Uh, struggling a bit on condition with some of our midfielders because Salazar and him, it needs to go up there playing sometimes because Cap have been out for a long time now. It's not great. It's not ideal to play someone um, to the ground here because he, he's going to struggle for this game. That's pretty much guaranteed. Fernandez is going to play the complete wingback role. Bello and Padilla in the central midfield. Again, not ideal having a non-left-footed guy over there. But um, yeah, it's better that it's better than a very weak foot. <laughs> He's just weak left-footed. Uh, but yeah, it's it's of course not. It's it's not great. Uh, Melgar is going to play the winger. Pass is the attacking midfielder, and Hurana pressing forward. So I would definitely say this is um, more uh, more the. This this team is definitely the B team, right? <laughs> we do have a couple of... I mean, we have a really decent team out there. Canadia, Rojas, Fernandes, Bello and Padilla are still strong. Still strong central midfielders. But we do have a couple of places where we are, you know, looking at and thinking, ooh, are they going to get the goals for us going forward? Melgor and Pass, of course. But Hurana... He's, he's already he scored already one goal so and one assist as well so hopefully it's gonna be enough but yeah, I, I, we will see we'll see um I did the opposition instruction so we can just get in there let's go now let's see where they actually are I think it was nine maybe they were nine in the league yeah nine okay they were nine in the league they did win their last one but I'm not too worried about that one never press a Diego Valencia okay this guy. Don't need to look at him. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure my assistant manager is uh, actually right here. He doesn't look that great, but okay, whatever. Let's just never press him. Kick off and off we are. Good. Actually, skip that. There we go. Okay. We should get a win here. Yeah, we are away from home and all that, and we don't have the best team, but we should still win it. 1-0, 2-0, something like that. 2-1, maybe. Maybe they will get in behind us. They do get the first chance, which is kind of worrying to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not great in the first 11 minutes. We're not great at all here. What's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> this should not happen. Okay, we do get a corner. He did He did miss it. I think it was uh, Fabio missing it. The big boy. Fernandez again here. Going back to Candia. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's in Melgo with a lovely goal. Fernandez with the assist on from his not his normal position and getting assist from, of course, being on the other side uh, of the pitch here. But uh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, um, we just haven't really played well, but that doesn't matter if you can get a goal, I guess. Beating the goalkeeper on the on the near post. Okay, well, uh, you know, okay then. Just look away when it comes to the possession. I guess we maybe counter them more than we. I don't know what. Well, I don't know what's going on out there. We we are not we are not seeing a whole lot of um, you know uh, highlights here. So who knows? Winners? Yes, Fabio out to Fernandez. Wow, that what a lovely header that was. And he's gonna go down the line back to Rojas into pass. Bello, he's gonna take a shot. No, he's gonna go out to Fernandez again. Can he get it in? Padilla, pass. Moving it around nicely here. Hard to find a spot. <clears throat> Rojas, Padilla, Rojas. Ooh, there we go. Pass. Now he's in Hurana, and that's going to be a goal. Easy peasy. Really, really well built up here. And just waiting for them to get a little bit out of position, and then the hold is going to be there for someone to run into. Lovely done. What actually happened here? I think it was because Bello got back and the central defender was getting caught out of position, that leaving this a very big hole in between their uh, central defender and fullback. Right? 
yeah, Bello actually coming up to get this ball and that leaves this hole. This guy is caught. He's caught. It, there is nowhere for him to go here. And Pass is actually ready for this uh, pass. Yeah, you see what I did there. Bang, he's in. It, it, lovely, lovely, absolutely lovely. Small, short passing football right there. Tiki Taka and we're in. Good. Okay, that's 2-0. Someone was offside, but doesn't matter. We are on the ball. Fabio going all the way back to Enrique. He shouldn't go long. He should just pass it out to one of the... Yeah, there we go. Fullbacks or central defenders. Or even the deep line playmaker coming deep to get it. Oh, there we go. Hurana is... Okay, that's an interesting one. Okay, very nice. Melgar, he's been good this so, so far. Actually, he's been quite good every time I'm playing him. He's not bad at all. He doesn't have the biggest star ratings, you know, but and he doesn't have the, you know, the best. <laughs> That's a brilliant header, hitting it down. No chance for the goalkeeper. It's not often you see that in FM. That was a lovely goal. Yeah, it's very often the go the the headers are usually going high, but this one, hitting it down into the ground. Ooh, that's that's disgusting. Very well done by Pass and Melgar. Very nice indeed. I mean, we're destroying them by this point, aren't we? Good. But yeah, Melgar has been uh, quite good when he has play been playing. Um, he just doesn't have, you know, the biggest, attrib highest attributes in the team. Well done there by, uh, I don't know what, who it was. Jemis, I think, winning that one. Uh, Juana might be in here. No, he's going to pass it back to Fernandez. Pro probably a good idea, actually. And he's going to get a cross in. Malgor, yeah, he's uh, he's marked by two guys. so <laughs> Sandwiched. Canadia, Bello, Malgor is back to Canadia. Hurana. Ooh. <laughs> Ping ponging. Oh, well, there we go. Padilla finding some space. And again, Candia with the assist. I don't actually know if he had an assist, but he definitely got this one. Low cross. And then... He got out there again somehow. Yeah, okay, he blocked that one and then the assist here. And we just got so many men in there that, you know, it, it's just all about, you know, are we going to get on the ball first and then get a good shot off? And yeah, it's it's done. But yeah, 4-0 in the first half. I mean, <sighs> what can I say? I was worried for the first 10 to 15 minutes, but after that, brilliant. There we go, first half. <laughs> I don't have anything to complain about here. We're scoring on the half chances and we're scoring on the big chances. Yeah, okay, well, that's good. Let's move on. Brilliant. No clear-cut chances. Honestly, I think clear-cut chances is broken in this game. They don't work. We, we already have three, uh, at least two or three clear-cut chances, but they're not getting recognized as clear-cut chances. I don't know what a clear-cut chance is in this game. Honestly, I have, no, I, have, I have no idea. No, absolutely no idea. You can see it over here. Clear-cut chances, 0-0. Zero, zero. What? <laughs> what is a clear-cut chance if, if not... I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Does the goalkeeper need to not be inside his uh, box to... I don't, I don't know what a clear-cut chance is in FM. No idea. I don't know what is going to get recognized as a clear-cut chance. But none of the goals we had is clearly clear-cut chances. Probably half chances. Probably half chances, right? Five of them, yeah. Likely so. 69... Uh, we got a lot of yellows here. 66 minutes, and we are going to take off some of these yellows. We don't want a red card here. Um, Just looking at the condition here, it's also something I need to worry about. Bello and Rochas is getting there. I think I need Rochas off if he needs to be ready for next game. Uh, what is my biggest concern here? Probably the wingbacks. Mostly uh, Canaria, but he's on 70%. He is just coming back from a very small injury. I think I'm going to bring Vaca on for that inverted wingback role again. And... Uh, Jemis is on 78. Nah, I don't, I don't take him off for Cruz, maybe. Um... You know what? You know what? Uh, let's keep him in. What What did I do here? I'm confused. What did I do? Yeah, move them around. There we go. Move them around and bring Canadi over there again and play him still. And maybe we will take Rochas off instead for... Claros. Halfback roll. 
I mean, uh, yeah, let's do that instead. Uh, I'm still worried about those yellows, but yeah. Hopefully we can get it home. Another yellow, this time for Vaka, who just got on. Seems like, uh, yeah, again, we're getting a lot of yellows on our wingbacks, that's for sure. Every single game, almost. Which is not great. Which is not great. 80 minutes in, and nothing is happening. Which is decent for us. Um, I think Bello is done for. Um, I'm gonna take my chances on the yellows. Hamosa or... I think I'm gonna put Hamosa on. He's not exactly a central midfielder, but I think, because we are telling him to drift wide, uh, or go wide with the ball, I think he is okay in that central midfielder. Dribbling ability is quite high. He got the acceleration to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Claras. Vaca. I don't think this is a highlight. It's just because I made some substitutes. That could have been a highlight, but I actually don't think it was a key highlight. Over the top. Fabio. Oh, uh, mate. Well, again, this we will keep uh, um, handling it for us. He's been fa he's been fantastic so far in Rio. Yes, he's been really good. No big mistakes or anything yet. Just good saves, good games. It does look like a four nil away from home. There we go. I mean, we probably don't deserve four nil, but yeah. What is the XG uh, two? Yeah, 2.7. I, yeah, I don't have anything. Who uh, who got the man of the match here? Uh, play of the match? Pass? Wow, well done. He's been doing uh, quite well when he's playing as well. 8.0. Yeah, love to see it. There we go, guys. Well, dearie me. Look who is dropping points. Universitario. They're not even in second spot anymore. Ha <laughs> ha Oh man, they I do have one game to play, so they could get up there again. Probably will, so. But uh, we're definitely in first spot now, so uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, what I'm thinking is, I don't think these group stages are going to be very, very interesting. I don't think we're going to struggle with getting into the uh, playoffs. So I'm likely going to play all the way down to Universitario and show that game and likely Garcia Greta again. And um, then I'm not gonna probably not gonna show the last two games because we are probably already in the playoffs at that stage uh, in terms of how many points we have. So we might as well just get one more episode off inside these group chases and then go into the playoffs if that all works out for us. Of course, I think it will. Uh, you can see here how our form is. So I. <laughs> A lot has to go wrong if we're not getting into the playoffs, let me tell you. But yeah, I think, I think I'm going to come back for Universitario, which is probably going to be an interesting one. One last thing, I think I want to check out the pass map here again and show you guys as well. Let's just see it. A lot more narrow. A lot more narrow than I thought it would be. Um, that's interesting. But it's definitely... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's definitely here where you can see pass. No, it's actually Padilla. So pass is over here. Ah, yes, where he should be. This is where I wanted pass. And that's, yeah, exactly. They are ba basically online. We're playing like a 2 1 5. <laughs> because of an inverted wing back. Normally he would be over here, of course. But, but it's almost a 2 1 5 normally with a fullback. 2. With the winger being really far up. And of course, this pressing forward, drifting around. Uh, usually on the left hand side, of course. But um, yeah. So you can again see how important that deep line playmaker role is. That is the connection to the rest of the midfield. Every one of them is going to go back to him if they're going back, right? Everyone is going back to him. So uh, yeah, that's uh, again interesting to see. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to come back for that game. Uh, Universitarios, so I, got, I, got, I got a lot of games to play here. A lot of games to play. But I think most of them will be wins. Maybe one loss, maybe one draw. But most of them will definitely be wins. Oh, I'm saying it now, but there we go. Then I'm, then I'm probably cursed myself here, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you around in the next one.